You want me to say something? Hmm? Am I supposed to say something? Hey! Huh! Listen to my chair go. It's always... It's always making these noises just from simple movements. Hi everyone. How are you? Hello PG, yes. Hello everyone. I stumbled out of XCOM last time we played it, uh, feeling faint, which I've been feeling a lot lately with uh, the streams, as you may have noticed. If you were here for yesterday's Mechabellum Become Insane Doom Fever Dream stream. Um, oh, that mole was crazy. <laughs> You're recovering from the vid. Are you, General Spoon? Fortune says, Beagle, I need you to know that I just listened to a grown man say, was he catching dubs on Fort? I took psychic damage from it. Catching dubs on Fort. Like, two Fort? Are they talking about two Fort? Oh, you did, Spoon? This would not recommend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear it. Well, let me try and satiate and soothe you with some XCOM. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. They were talking about Fortnite? Um, I feel like Fortnite's old now. Aren't we getting to the point where Fortnite's old? What, isn't it from like 2018, 2019? When's the next big game gonna come? Or did it? was it Among Us? Did that already happen? When's the next thing that like... I guess it's Robox? Robox instead? Roblox? Where did this came out? game come out? 2012. Yeah, I just feel like we're getting to the point where Fortnite can't continue to be used as like... The Zoomer dunk, right? Or is it just eternal? Is, is Fortnite just eternally like the game that means children now? Even though we are surely aging beyond the point where Fortnite is... That relevant. What's the biggest game in the world right now? I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to ask. Skibbity toilet. I don't think so. No, not the biggest file size. What's the most popular game in the world? 2023. Resident Evil 4. I do not fucking believe you. God, Google has become useless. <laughs> I do not fucking believe you for a moment. Dredge? The Indie Boat Game? Metroid Prime Remastered. This is fucking useless. Absolutely useless. Um, top 10 most popular online games in 2023. None of these websites are going to be right, but let's see. Apparently it's still PUBG. I don't fucking believe that either. No way. PUBG 100 million. No way. No way PUBG. This is out of date. There's no way PUBG is still the most popular. Roblox isn't even on this list. No. Apex Legends number three. What? Shut up. Don't be ridiculous. Counter-Strike. I don't even see Valorant on here. League isn't even in the top three. COD Mobile Among Us. The top game on Steam right now is CSGO. Still. God damn. What the fuck? XCOM Enemy Within? <laughs> is Valorant even popular? I don't know. I don't know anything. The problem is when you... I'm gonna stop googling that. Because the problem is when you like Google for shit like that now, it's all useless. Like you... Anything you Google for now just becomes like some slop of auto-generated content on... Little clicker sites. If you go on Twitch, it's Lies of P. I don't even know what that is. How is that the most popular game in the world? I barely even know what it is. Pinocchio, but Bloodborne? I don't know why I went down this road. It's not what I need to be thinking about. Puppet Bloodborne. What the fuck? I don't understand the world anymore. It's getting worse every day. Jeff Funk says Baldur's Gate 3 has double the players as Starfield right now, which is funny. I mean, and deserved. From what I've seen of Starfield so far, it just looks like, well... 
Don't even need to finish the sentence. Everyone knows. Level power hour. It's coming. I don't know what else is coming. I think I'm just clicking the... I think I'm just clicking the button now. I'm not putting the satellite down at the end of the month because we want to keep that so we can get rid of this, right? We need to build a nexus. I need to build a nexus. I should build this. Why haven't I built this yet? Sitchin says, Beagle, I've done it. I've won our game so hard I can't do any research or build stuff. Oh, no meld. Rip. I think I just keep going. I don't know what's really happening. Wait. Where's my covert operative? When was that? Is that recent? Okay, we still got some days. 29th. Just sure, I'll take that. Detected. Low altitude detected. radar. I don't really know what's going on in the tactical layer of this game anymore. I'm just kind of scanning. We have eyes on the bandit. You can't get anything. You can't get fragments or alloys. So they're just like no missions anymore. Do I think it was up here? Oh no, it was training. It was training center. Why are some of them really green, but some of them are really gold? Gold we can't train, I'm gonna assume here. I don't know, I'm just clicking people. I don't know what's going on. Dude, don't do that. I think I have enough money. Oh, I have so much money. Wow, I didn't realize. Group doctor is done. Commander, our satellite is our ready. Satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Mobile power armor is about to be completed. Banshee, Aegis, and Impact Vest. But if we can help it, we don't want none of that. We want... Advanced power armor in 14 days. That's what we really want. And then we can get new mech suits as well after we divert. But first we want advanced power armor. That's what it's all been for. We're just trying to get advanced power armor, really? Good luck, Blinky. Yeah, I know that we can afford the alloys to spare for this. Keep it all for Titan. We need that Titan when it gets here. I think it's time for one last covert exalt scan. Intel scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. Vanguard go again. Off you go. Covert operative deployed to disrupt Exalt cell in India. No, we won't be doing that. India's about to get bounced again unless I launch a satellite over it, but if I launch a satellite over it, then I can't next month get everywhere. I guess I can, I just have to let the India satellite get shot down. Or I just let India defect this month and just get ready for three base assaults next month, but 
the less base assaults, the better, I think, is what we learned last time. Strategically, it gives us meld, which is critical, because we're really low on meld right now. But emotionally, a third base assault means a third base assault. Either way, next month with the advent of power armor, it's towards the end of the month I'm going to be doing base assaults, I guess. As I've been saying I'll do for so long now. Crumb stream 2. I guess we're just going to have to put up with crumb stream 2, aren't we? I need to get building this thing. And I need to just get to base assaulting, I think. Twenty Illyrian, fifty alloys, two flight computers. Just start building this thing. Hey, Beagle, did you catch my message about saying that Ratu? By the way, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I did. Was anyone else interested in playing that kind of thing, Starboard? Did you see? McPanchin says, "Can you continue to delay the base till end game tech level?" Yeah, that's usually what I do. Yes. Okay, I guess we scan. And you didn't even leave. There you this go. The council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Remember. We will be watching. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, because we're actually in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the new Nexus comes in, it gets one, two, three, four. But we need to then, before we do too much, delete the upstairs uplink. So it'll actually only give me one, two, three, and I'll be losing one, two. So I'm only staying on one. So this Nexus builds. You'll have to check their status. I want our birds kept fully fueled at all times. This Nexus builds, and I have to delete the satellite uplink here and build a Nexus in its place. So then once that happens, I can place one satellite at the end of this month on India. Wait until then I have to wait until the Nexus, the second Nexus is done building, I guess. So actually, I've got like 40 days until I can do a base assault. Fucking hell. I just realized that. Because of the way this is going to work out. With Nexus and Uplinks, because India didn't leave. I guess I could just like build a temporary Uplink over here if I had the power. For 200 bucks. Just to like, get through the, the difficulty bit. I mean, get through the middling bit. I should have started building this Nexus earlier. I don't know. Usually, I would be a little more in my game <coughs> with knowing what I'm doing strategically <coughs> a little, because I'm usually never that good at the, the strategy game. But, um, I know, like, I'm just going fuck it right now. I just don't know what to do. Like, there's such a particular, like, sequence of, like, buildings and events and shit I need to do for the end game, and I can't remember it. I'm just clicking scan activity. Fuck it. Hey, thank you, Philip. New cinque donation from <laughs> Filipacca. Happy birthday, Beagle was going to get you XCOM and Forcher, but thought you might appreciate the money more. Thank you very much, Philip. I appreciate it. Yes, I do appreciate the five dollars more next come Forcer. Thank you very much. The five dollars will be well used. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Where does my next generator go? I guess it still goes here. I think I have to start deleting them for, or making Illyrium generators. $400, 60 Illyrium, 60 alloys, it costs so much shit I need for armor. So I don't want to do one yet. Let's just keep scanning. Okay. Neural feedback for Zhang. Pick general, maybe we can finally get you a mind fray. 
Uh, and instead of Ryu, we can get you a Minefray as well, maybe. Not now. Contact detected. NOE large command abduction. Ignoring these UFO contacts, we're putting our entire satellite network at risk. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Okay, Durzo Blint is in. Sorry. Uh, infantry. Mitchell's in. Not Ramiel. What was the difficulty, sorry? Pekaros is in a proud one as I started my first long war campaign today. I did like 12 missions and I'm only in my first week of April. Oh, good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Everything by the numbers. Okay, sorry. Durzo's in. Mitchell. Not oh, Ramiel. Nictus. Croker. This is a good map for a sniper. Bring in, uh, hmm. Level, let's keep leveling people. Level flopsing. Level all these gunnery sergeants. And then we need an engineer. Let's bring Brett. Brett just leveled up. Good for you, Brett. And Brett on a shogun. We're gonna grab, not sapper. Not ranger. Probably gonna grab, oh no, that's shock absorbent. That's not even that good. Only enemies within four tiles, which is honestly not often for our shoguns. So maybe Ranger. Shock Absorbent does have its place when you start wanting to use, not really flamethrowers, but when you start wanting to use like the Electro Pulse, but we never really used that Electro Pulse in the end, you know? Or the Fist, you could say, but hopefully you've killed whatever you fisted, so. So no, really. You don't need Sapper. So probably just Ranger, honestly. Feels kind of weird. Unless you want to go Sapper for getting mines eventually, but I don't think we really did a lot of mining on the Shogun's last run. It's just all this remembering, it's all this remembering of what was optimal last time. Um, and I don't think we really did a lot of proxy mining last time, I don't think it was a big thing. So probably just Ranger. It's only plus one damage and it feels like maybe the other stuff could be more useful, but I mean, it's plus one damage. You want to give tank perks? Yeah, I mean, obviously, but... How often is a Shogun actually within close range? It's not often. Really not a perk that's going to kick in that often, probably. I forget what I took last time. It probably was either Ranger or Shock Absorbent. Maybe it's Shock Absorbent is what I want? I can't really decide. Don't we grab Light Him Up later? I think we grab Light Him Up. Ranger, light them up, and then I think absorption fields is what we want. We'll grab that. Infantry gunner, infantry scout, gunner, sniper, shogun, and we need our medic. Mission of a Max is video game Raptor Boggle and Caps. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is our first mission of a Mac. Welcome, video game Raptor Boggle. You're here just in time. It's the campaign's first mission of a Mac. I'm so glad you could make it. Welcome. We're gonna have tons of fun here on our first mech mission. Let's go. 
Wow, first mission of the campaign, apparently. Here we go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. How many of these vitamins am I meant to take? Dosage. Take one tablet daily of water. Okay. I can do that. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. Let's do it. Operation First Spark. First mission of a spark? Wow. Here we go. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Captain Scrapper says, why is there a waterfront map? Winnipeg is in the middle of the prairies. I don't think a single person in Firaxis gives a single shit about the people of Winnipeg, Captain Scrapples. Not a single one, not even close. That's what I think. Okay. Usually when I get the cool sniper post going in this map. Got like a 3B there, I think. So we'll bring up the Shogun. Headed there now. Vega, what's up, Terrabelle? What's up? We're gonna blow this up. Do a little bit of that. You know we love to do that around here. On the move. I'm rolling. Get our GMGs up. We love to get our GMGs up. Moving out. Rolling out. On the move. That's affirmative. Got it covered. Maybe there is meld out here potentially somewhere, so we want to move until we find it. Subject G says, you know every other place in the world always has that one person that says no one in X cares about X. Is there any place in the world we care about? I don't think, like, I think there's plenty of cities people wouldn't say that about. Like, no one's gonna say no one in America cares about New York. That seems unlikely. Let's get the gunners up here. On the move. Moving. Nebraska says, I say that, fuck New York. Yeah, but then you care about New York. You're just trying to pretend you don't, but you do. Everyone loves Tollywood. <laughs> Okay. Affirmative. Moving out. Gorg says, I think once you get past like 200 yards beyond visual range, care ratio drops real low. Yeah, I mean, that's like scientific, right? I'm on the move. The thing of like, we're only designed to care about like a certain amount of people and things within our immediate physical like locality. Heading to that location. I guess I really buck that trend by caring so much about all of you, right? Being as none of you are within 200 yards of me. Hopefully. Aye, aye, Commander. On Overwatch. Reloaded. Come get some. Aye, aye, boy. Roger. Got my eyes on. Alright, it's time to engage with the mutons. Quiet. Did you hear something? You're in my walls. I don't think any of you are in my walls. Got something over here. A lot of berserkers lately. I feel like we had no berserkers and now it's nothing but berserkers. Anyone else noticing that? 
a great deal of Berserker content lately. Good way to start. What happens if I shoot you here? Are you like gonna try to go around behind? I think I gotta make room so this doesn't like all fuck up. Nice shot. Nice shotted, well done. Good stuff. That just says polite excom man making room for women to go about her womanly business. I love women, what can I say? I'm a huge fan of women. Cap? There is no cap. I didn't bring an arc thrower. Everybody should know this about me at this point because I'm, I'm very loud about it, but I'm a huge fan of women. Really big supporter of them in general. And you know what, folks? That doesn't change on on based on the day. You know, that's consistent. He just says, you, you fin Zerker's sexy. I never said that. I did not say that. Die. Get rid of that. I'm rolling. Hello, hello. Exodus says, oh, so women can't be muscular? I don't think I said that either. I think women can be whatever they want, irregardless of what I want. Weird, weird activity chatters, weird things to say right now. 99, I can get 100 on that with a pistol. Destroyed. You're real performative anyway. You all like to shout in the chat, Ooh, Bilkers, ooh, Mommy Berserker, ooh, crush me. But I'm willing to bet that most of you who yell that in chat would not actually, like, want that to happen to you or allow it. You're all performers. I don't trust any of you. Oh, more contact. 73rd Turtle says, I do not like being crushed. I'm brave enough to say it. I don't want to be crushed either. I'm just so scared to say it because the woke left will get me. I don't want to be crushed either. I, I, that sounds like I die. <laughs> Jeff Runk says you aren't an ally to women unless you let a berserk lady crush you. I don't know that that's true. I'm not sure that that's true. Aye, aye, Commander. Uh, come over here, infantry. Let's move up the gunners. Okay. Moving out. Moving to position. I can't believe he was going to be cancelled on his birthday. I can. Okay. This will not Reloaded. be a good birthday. I can feel it. Reloaded. Good to go. Reload. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. Everyone made fun of my weird sneezes that one time on stream, so now I try to sneeze like an old time prospector. Birthday stream seems like the best time to get cancelled, says Braska. Yeah, well, for anything I do, I could just say it's my birthday. <laughs> 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 
my god, I was trying to, like, cook up some kind of joke of something I would say and then get away with it because I said it's my birthday, but all I... But all I could think of instead was that most insane fucking tweet of the week I seen last time, which was like... Some guy... Being like, a ma okay, we should imagine what it would be like to actually live in the world where it's reversed and it's normal to be like alt hard right and woke left moralists are made fun of in the same way that MAGA people are made fun of now. Anyway, and it all sums up with them at the end going like, okay, so if we chart, if we chart things back to like before the rise of woke leftism, okay, back at the Nuremberg trials, I think is what they said. It was like, what? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> That's like the last good time for you <laughs> in like culture. <laughs> it just the first cancel culture was the the Nuremberg trials for that person. <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I say it every stream, but it really gets more and more confusing and. I'm even confusing, just strange to live in this world, I think. It just gets weirder and weirder. Roger that. Heading to that location. <laughs> your, your days are Nuremberg woke moralist. Your days are nimbered. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, shit's weird. Copy that. Got it covered. I'm on it. I feel, Commander. Feel it there. Many contacts. Enemy big seeker. Engaged. Big muton. Mist floater. It's actually a pretty small yeah. muton. Normal, normal size muton. Targeting system malfunction. Okay, more of them coming. Target still up. Oh, and that reveals Seiko and drone. Ibu Tom says that's a lot of misses. Yes, but as I said, we support women here, so as many misses as the game wants there to be, we're fine with it. Now let's see. Where is the big seeker gone? Did it cloak? Hmm. Okay. Big seeker's behind the box on the left. I you'd, you'd think I would have seen that too. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do? Kill on you. I got double tap on both of you. I got a uh, collateral. Collateral's what I got. If I just collateral over here, by the sound of it, it should reveal the big secret too. I'm gonna shoot that. Allow me to. Shred the big seeker. I do not allow me to do that. Actually, do not allow me to do that. Please don't. Go on, do it again. You can do it. There we go. Now, sh kill it. Out of the game. Kill seeker. Get your ass. Damn. Kill drone. Here we go. X ray neutralized. You can come back over here, Scout. We'll hollow you. Did 
Didn't one of you have a uh, hundred to hit? Yeah, Mitchell, you're good to go. Just do a little 23 critical. There you go. You're good to go. Let's shoot you. I don't know how many of you are left. Shoot you. He's down. Is there another floater that I haven't killed yet that went backwards? We'll just smoke here. I, yeah, I know there's a sectoid. I thought there was another floater. Maybe I killed them already. There they are. Almost dead. Adjusting sights. There want to do nothing clever. They got me flanked. Watch the sides. Good die. Ammo's out. Oh, a little sectoid is close. Close, close, close. Where is little sect? There's little sectoid. I see you. No, I didn't think that'd be a flank, but they can't really flank me either, so we can just like wait here and shoot them, I guess. Hidden Rab would have killed her, yeah. Here comes Little Sectoid, Little Sectoid. Gunner. There you go. Another day, another successful operation. God damn, that was it. These are like vignettes, they're not even like missions. Crushing the air game really crushes the game. Excellent work all around. Another impressive effort from our troops. It really wasn't that impressive, Valen. What was that, two pods? Was there a third? No, the Berserkers, it was three. No, aliens aren't being nice to me because it's my birthday. Aliens are being pummeled into oblivion we will be in by touch. this air game mod. It's crazy. This air game mod, like, I'm in the Discord for it. And, like, the the, the, the author of the mod doesn't say it's balanced or anything. Well, actually, well, I can't remember. Anyway, but, like, I remember there was... <laughs> I remember saying, like... Like, uh, you know, that definitely makes the game easier. I think it'll still be after that. I remember someone, someone just arguing, like, definitely like, No, no, it doesn't make the game any easier. Like, just because you win, like, the air game missions doesn't really have any effect on Long War. It's like, are you, are you insane? <laughs> have you lost your fucking mind? It's crazy. This run has been insane. Yeah, it's, it's, like, easier than March missions. It's crazy. A panther says, just because you kill all the aliens before they can make it to the surface doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if nothing else, it really does show how much, in a normal Long War campaign as well, how much you should be pushing to dominate the air game. Like, how it's not enough to just be, like, to, to settle for, like, having control of one continent. Like, you absolutely have to in Long War, or don't, you don't have to, but if you if you want an easy time, you should be pushing for this in every game you play of this. You should be pushing for strategic victory of the air game. You should be funneling all your tech, all your resources into air game early, spreading out across the entire globe, like, really as fast as you can with all the interceptors. Because the results are just amazing. Like, it's just, th this is why all my Long War games are so hard, usually, in the end, is because I never do this. And now we do this because of the air game mod. We do this in this round, and it's like, oh man, this, this mod's actually a lot easier than I thought. Uh, I guess. Uh, it's, it's easy as long as you can make the air game work. <laughs> yeah, amazing revelation for the first mission of the campaign, yeah. 
Marla says, sometimes I want to ask what mod you're talking about, but you have so many at this point that it makes my head explode. Thank you. It'd make my head explode to talk about them too. It's like you're storm dropping your opponent every two minutes in StarCraft. <laughs> it's fucking exalt over already. Covered extraction on Operation Black Knight. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Is it worth having interceptors and contents of our satellites as lighting? Oh, not really. I don't think. Like, you may as well. For the, if you've got the money for that, just put satellites there and get the full rewards. Hey, Beaks. Hey, hey uh, G Rainbow. How you doing? Who am I taking? Fuck. Uh. You do the air game mod be impossible for the training roulette run then? I don't know. Um, I was thinking about updating to the new version of the air game mod where the, the aliens get multiple UFOs as well in reverse. The, the way it works is like you fight them one at a time, so it's like your six fighters versus their UFO, then their UFO, then their UFO, I think. Uh, because they made it so that the, the, the support UFOs can't engage unless you're at close range, which just means you won't do close range anymore with your defending aces, which is weird anyway, but I don't know. I might just go back to vanilla air game after this, honestly. It's it's fun for a change, but I might just go back to vanilla air game uh, instead. GRMO says, I'm considering something recently and still going to play another pod reveal mod collection for Long War 1.0. Do you have opinions of what that be like, feel like, to play with those pod reveal mechanics in play? No, I, not really. Pod reveal mod, what, what does that mean? Like, when you reveal a pod, it reveals other pods? Maybe you see any of the Payday 3 stuff? No, I don't really care about Payday. Basically, that's what it is, G-Rainbow. Um, okay. I imagine, I, I think I've played something similar before once or twice. I imagine it's just a chain reaction. Um... I mean, the missions would probably be interesting when they're not unwinnable. Usually the hardest missions are when you activate everything once in Long War, so yeah. I imagine you just have a lot of very hard um, missions. Yeah, my experience with Payday was Payday 2, with everyone kind of raving about it that I knew at the time, and then me and Jam played it, and it was like, oh, this is kind of, like, fun, I guess. Like, the first couple of times we played a map, like, the first couple of paydays, the first couple of heists, and then, I don't know, it was just like, oh, like, that's the whole game? Like, the whole game is just, like, this handful of banks or places to rob, and then you just do it, and then that's it? Like, I don't know, it just didn't seem like there was a lot to the game for us, and we didn't really enjoy it that much. Pretty much my only opinion of Payday is that the music is incredible in Payday 2, and Jambo and I have always agreed on that. Apart from that, we just never really cared for the game that much. Didn't seem like there was a lot there. Uh, we, we did not get how, like, people just kept playing it. Like, we had friends at the time who would just be like, Oh, you know, let's play it again. It's like, what? What are, you, what are you playing again? I guess that's similar to Dark Tide in some ways, but I don't know. I feel like Dark Tide is bigger and longer. But yeah, the Payday 2 music, it's incredible. It's incredible music. I, I've listened to that so much over the years. Payday 3 is just Payday 1, colon 2. Okay, well, I mean, good for you. Good for you. Scout, infantry, medic. Engineer, I suppose. Brask says, I completely agree with Beegs, but it's hilarious hearing him say that while grinding out long war missions. In what way? Hilarious how? Like a clown? What do you mean? Can we get two grenades? Braska says the tactical missions are just the same over and over in XCOM. They get grindy too. I mean, in that sense, buddy, every game is just the same thing over and over. I don't know. I think it's a little bit different genres and gameplay and randomness-wise. 
But hey, I mean, your takes are your own. Alright, let's go. Did I bring a motion tracker? Yeah, I got a scout. Touching down. We've detected an exalt cell operating out of India. Once strike one is on the ground, we'll need to secure the area to allow our operative to acquire the necessary data. 